Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 448 for Friday, casual Friday, May 12th, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take all kinds of scenarios in our life and run them through the business brain and see what kind of perspective we can get. Sponsors for this episode include headspace.com slash brain 60, where you get to go and try headspace free for 60 days. This is something they've never done before that I've seen. So you're going to want to check that out. And also found.com slash brain. This is a business banking engine that helps you track your expenses and find write-offs and track your income. It's, it's really cool. So we'll talk more in depth about both of those in a little bit here for now here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So, Shannon, this week, you and I have both had experiences with service providers that, uh, that, that, that are worthy of running through the business brain. Yes, uh, they are. <laughs> yep. I had, we are and have been for a couple of years in the process of figuring out how to redo our kitchen. Right. It, okay. It's a thing we need to do before we sell the house. So we might as well do it while we're still here and actually get a little bit of enjoyment out of it before we sell yeah, it to somebody yeah. else. Right. And so we went through the process. Actually, we went there's I could probably do a month's worth of episodes on what we've learned throughout this, but we got some we have essentially what I'll call our final quote on uh what it's gonna take to to gut the kitchen to rebuild it, right? Rip okay, everything sure. out, put new thing, new cabinets in. And, and even change the layout a little bit, right? Like, you know, okay, so we yeah. know what that's what that looks like. And we've been through enough of these quotes where we have a, a, a sense of, you know, what that costs. And, and if we were going to change some things, we could make it simpler. We could make it more complex, right? So, and then Lisa, we're, we're also redoing a couple bathrooms and that's happening as we speak. So we're already in sort of construction mode in our house. And the idea of- Sounds like fun, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the idea of having- the house under construction for an extra whatever four to six weeks for the kitchen is like you know okay so that's a little it's a big pill to swallow right I mean in the grand scheme yeah. of things no it, but it's probably a lie it's probably it's, twelve weeks yeah it's correct <laughs> well that's exactly it yeah. right yeah so uh, Lisa started doing some research and she was like with Lisa's my wife she found a company that was talking about how much faster and uh, less expensive it is to just reface. Your existing mm. cabinets. I was like, okay. okay. So we did a little research into just, you know, in general what that is. And I was like, okay, let's talk to them. And they came out to the house last night. And uh, first of all, the guy showed up with a, a really beat up car, which is just a bad look. Uh, it, it's like, yeah, that's a good point. He, he was a nice, he was a nice guy and really understood what we were doing. Clearly understood the company and the products and all of that stuff. So it was just a weird first impression to show up with a, a beat up car with, you know, dents and stuff, dings all over it, but yeah, yeah whatever. Good, good, good point. Yep. yep. Uh, that's really tangential though. So he goes through his presentation, which was great. He does all the measurements of the kitchen. We talk about, here's the different uh, materials that we can use. He explained how, what refacing is and all that. And if somebody wants to know, email us at feedback at businessbrain.show. I can, I can tell you all about it. But he goes through all this and, you know, we pick out colors and this, that, and the other thing. And we talk a couple of this and that, and, you know, we, we get through and he's explaining everything together for about two hours, which was fine. And he gets to the end. He starts showing us different prices for this. Right. And, it, you know, for our kitchen, it was going to be about 30 K, let's say, to, okay. to, to reface everything, sure. which sure. is less than what we would pay to have it all gutted out, but not that much less. Cause we have all yeah. these quotes, right? Like we're showing them to him. Like here we are trying to decide. And it was like, okay, so it's a little less, maybe 10 grand less, but mm-hmm. you know, like, is it worth 10 grand yeah. to, you know, so, so like not it was have clear brand new cabinets, to right. not have brand new. Right. And, and there's, there's some arguments on either side, right? Like it's, it's fine. And so, we're going through this and, and you know, he asked it was with the, the pricing of it was weird to begin with. So he shows us the price and then he's like, and we can either do cash or we can finance it. Of course, interest rates are super high. He quoted us an 8.99% interest rate, which is 
probably not altogether incorrect in today's yeah. world, you That's know? Right. That's right. And so we joked about that. And then I said, he said, well, so would you be financing or paying cash? I'm like, well, if we do this, we'd pay cash. Like, I'm not going to borrow money at 9%. Like, no way. Especially for 144 months or something. It's like, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there's no, yeah. there's no world where that needs to happen. And he's like, oh, okay, well, now the cash price actually gets lower if you're going to do cash. I'm like, well, why do what? So that was weird because he showed us the cash price and then he showed us you huh. know, how it would break down if we were going to finance it. But if okay. we're going to pay yeah. cash, the base price went down like by another two grand or something. So it was like, okay, well, this suddenly got weird. Like, why is that? But okay, fine. Like never going to be upset when somebody says the price just went down. So less, oh, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. And so he's like, all right, well, that's where that is. And they want, you know, uh, 30% down and then another, the remainder, like when they come out to measure. So they kind of want all the money up front, which, okay, like that's that's their shtick, whatever, fine. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm sure it's negotiable. I could say, well, I'm going to pay a third, a third, and then a third when the yeah, job's yeah. done. You know, right, if, if, right. I, if I screw you, Good you idea. can sue me or whatever. But, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like I got to have, you got to have some skin in the game. But we didn't even get to that point because I said, okay, well, this looks good. I said, we're obviously not going to make a decision tonight. Uh, you know, it's now eight o'clock at night or something. You know, it's obviously we have these two things to talk about here and we're going to talk about them and, and we're going to make a decision in the next week or so. And then like be done with this project that's been, you know, eating up our date nights for, for, you know, two years or whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and he's like, well, I need to tell you, you know, th this price is only good for tonight. And I'm thinking, uh, uh, red flag. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> like that's yeah. the, my first thought was no, it's. He's like, you know, I, you know, I'm the, one of the sales managers, and so I'm able to bring the price down, but I can't promise you. Like I, this quote doesn't even exist after I leave here. Does that work? I mean, and I'm also thinking, work? no, it's not. Yeah. Like I yeah. could see if we were spending three hundred dollars, maybe even if we were spending three thousand dollars, you might get yeah. an impulse purchase out of us. But this is thirty grand. What if? we had not already gone through the painstaking process of like building out a, a new kitchen, which was probably, you know, eight to 10 hours of time over many weeks with a designer and all that stuff. If we hadn't gone through that, we wouldn't even be at a point where we could possibly make a decision. Right. Right. Like th there's yeah. no world where that, like we are the most prime candidates, I would think, because we have all our information. In theory, we could have made a decision about this last night. We weren't going to, but we sure. could have, right? We especially have all that the, comment. Yeah, you know, well, then especially, and it's like <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, you know, I'm like, do you have a card? He's like, no, we don't give out cards. He's like, you would just call like the the scheduling office, and they'll send someone else out if you want to work with us. And I'm like, well, that's the stupidest thing in the world. And so yeah, it was just a, crazy. a really weird use of scarcity. You know, everybody talks about m including scarcity in your marketing so that people feel like they have an urgency to buy. And that's it, always communicated as a good thing, right? By, by, at least by business publications. And this was a prime example where it was like, he, if he wanted to use scarcity, he could have said, look, you know, I, I can put a 24 hour clock on this or a 72 yeah. hour clock on this. But, yep. uh, you know, to say that this deal walks away with me. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It, it's not true. That's a hard no immediately. It's not and, true. Yeah, like, it's not I could true. call and, them today and offer them $2,000 less and they would take it. They would take the deal. And that's if he wants to in, introduce scarcity, there's certainly a better way to do it, like mm -hmm. you mentioned. And it could have been, hey, here's the quote. It's $30,000. If you book within the next 24 hours, I can take 10% off or exactly. you know, take three grand off. I would love yeah. to have your business. Here's my information. I'll call you tomorrow uh, midday and see if you have any additional questions. And, and that's, you know, that's how you incentivize that and the carrot, not the stick. Yeah, the carrot, not the stick. All right, business brain listeners, you know that your brain power is best spent on running your business, right? Not on the annoying details of saving receipts, calculating your taxes and categorizing expenses. What if there was something that could take care of all of that for you and free up more of your time? Well, there is. And it's our sponsor called Found. Found is a business banking app built specifically for the self-employed. It's all-in-one banking, meaning it comes with the smart tools you need to run your business, manage your income, expenses, taxes, and invoicing 
all from the Found app. Even sign up is easy. It's free and it takes just minutes. Plus, if you spend $100 with your Found card within the first 30 days, you'll get a $25 bonus in your account. There's no commitment. Try Found today and see what a difference it can make. Head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try found today. Terms and conditions apply. And of course, found is a financial technology company, not a bank. Found's banking services are provided by Piermont Bank, member FDIC. Remember, head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try found today. And our thanks to found for doing what they do and for sponsoring this episode. One thing we talk about often here on the show is maintaining our mental health, right? Because, listen, if our brains aren't healthy, then they can't be our best business brains and we can't apply them to things and get that perspective. And our sponsor, Headspace, can help immensely with this. Headspace helps improve mental well-being through guided meditations, mindfulness practices, breathing and calming exercises, and so much more. These tools can help reduce stress, boost your mood, and help you sleep better. Headspace is fantastic. I use it regularly here. It really is nice to have someone guiding through those meditations, and Headspace provides that. It's really amazing. You've got to check it out. And they've got meditations for different times a day, but also just different lengths of time. So if you only have time for a few minutes, you can use one of their on-the-go meditations. It's amazing. You've got to check this out. And Headspace has helped me and more than 100 million people worldwide, and they can help you too. And listen up. You do not want to miss this. We've arranged something special. For a limited time, all of you can try Headspace free for 60 days by going to headspace.com slash brain60. That's brain60. You won't find this offer anywhere else. You've got to use our link. H-E-A-D-S-P-A-C-E dot com slash brain 60 to unlock all of Headspace free for 60 days. This is not something they normally do. Headspace dot com slash brain 60. And our thanks to Headspace for sponsoring this episode. All right. What happened to you, Shannon? Yeah, here's my story. Yeah, what's your story, <laughs> man? <laughs> here's my story. Uh, related to this home, this uh, home services type thing as well. Uh, so as I've mentioned on the show, we own vacation rentals and in one of our uh, homes, we, I got a quote for painting the inside of it. It was very expensive, like yeah. many things are right now. And I figured, you know what? I'll save myself the 10 grand. I'll go up and spend a few days and I'll paint the inside of the house, you know, yep. all the rooms and the big place and everything. So I figured, great. So I, while I'm doing that, uh, my wife runs these uh, each home as a in individual business. So it's her deal. She's great. I work for her basically. Sure. I'm the employee sure. in that, uh, in that scenario. Yep. So while I'm there, she's meeting with other property management people, interviewing some new folks about maybe taking over demand local management of this yep. place. And I'm listening and I'm doing my, it, uh, my heart is not to comment, right? Because I'm just an employee. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my deal. <laughs> And I'm listening to this guy and the way he's talking to Renee, my wife, who's super uh, sharp, knows this, been running these businesses for over a decade. And he's making comments and I'm listening and I'm thinking, man, you need to just keep your mouth shut and listen uh, to Renee as she's describing what our needs are for a, a local property manager, not contradicting, not pointing things out and as he's walking around from room to room, he's making certain comments. And I, I hear uh, Renee saying, well, no, actually, uh, no, we do it this way. No, actually. And uh, I'm in the other room and I, I'm painting and I hear them walk into the big uh, primary, you know, bathroom. And he goes, whoa, this is going to be hard to clean. <laughs> oh. And I said, man, you've just lost yourself this uh this project. I mean, there's no way, you know, she's going to be comfortable hiring you. And so he comes out and we're kind of talking and I, I did make a few comments and um, he, he was a sharp guy, had seemed very successful, came highly recommended, but he continued to talk about problems instead of solutions. Ooh, yeah. And it, it's kind of that it, on the same thing, this scarcity mentality. It's like, Hey, no, 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 this is a giant, 
home. It's a huge opportunity for you. It's not a problem to solve. It's you're going to come, you can present it as, oh yeah, we understand this kind of problem and not, we're, our company is very good at solving it. Not, oh wow, it's going to be overwhelmed with- by this. Because that's what yeah. he's communicating to you is this Correct. is overwhelming to me. It's cr- Yes. Oh, and yeah. I just, I kind of, again, I just, I dipped in and out of the conversation a bit, but then I kept my mouth shut. And, you know, he, uh, as he walked out and then I just turned to Renee and I, I waited and she's like, Oh, we can't hire that guy (laughs) or his company, (laughs) you know, he's, he's already telling you there's going to be problems. This is going to take longer. He has literally communicated that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, the, the takeaway and I, I, I wish I could have just pulled him aside and said, look, you, you know, you, you obviously are, are uh, good at what you do and sounds like, you know, people are happy, but you just need to keep your mouth shut and don't comment and or read the room and and make your comments based on the comments of the other person as they're saying, oh, well, these are problem areas we've had in the past. Yeah. You know, the hot tub is is this okay yeah well that's good to know let me write that down so i can focus on that issue for you well yeah uh, listen to, oh, first you know. of all listen to what the customer's telling you but then don't tell them that yeah that you're that you don't know how to do it right like yeah, yeah. or oh it's this is going to be really hard because yeah. what you're you're just telling me that well the reason we're coming to you is because we're having some issues with the current service provider mm. but you're telling me before i'm even hiring you that we're going to we're going to have, have, have some, some problems. You. Yeah. yeah. No, that yeah, so that idea of it. read the room I, it is uh, something I was thinking last night with with this guy with the um with the cabinets because yeah. it was like dude, we're right here. Like we're so close to this. <laughs> you could <laughs> sell us on this. Like it's yeah. it is less expensive. It's not as inexpensive as we thought it would be, but that's on you to to you know prove the That's value right. proposition, right? And he he got halfway there. Like it what it, it was there's a world where we would go with that company and we might even still, but now we're gonna head down that path with totally different attitude. A totally yeah. different attitude. That's right. Yeah. But that whole thing of like he should have seen that, man, these people are close. And yeah. all and, it's going to take is a phone call tomorrow. And like, yep. even still, if he called us today and said, all right, well, look, we'll do it for 25. We'd be like, all right, you yeah. know what? Screw it. Let's do it. It's fine. Yep. If you're listening to this show, man, <sighs> you have our number. But it like, it, you know, because we kind of figured they, based on how they marketed themselves, we figured it was going to be about 20. Right. And so they came in yeah. at 30. Okay. Like that's, that's more than. Then your initial marketing communicated to us, which is bad, you know, yes, yep, correct. Like, there's a failure here already, but okay, fine. That's how these things go. It's never quite as good as you thought, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, you know, so, th- but read the room, take a look at what you've yeah, got and, here. Yeah. And I would say focus on abundance, man. Yeah. We have way too much scarcity in our lives right now. Mm. It's a constant mm. crisis in our culture. And if you can bring abundance into your conversation with your your potential clients and talk about how great it's going to be and and you're going to have a great experience with us, we're faster than X, yeah. you know, a company that would do this, yeah. uh, it's better for the environment because we're not filling up this. I mean, all about making things better, not about, oh, if you don't decide right now, you you know, we're not going to do the, it. The deal so, doesn't uh, exist. It's going to yeah, be more tomorrow. No, yeah. it's not. There hasn't right. been nearly it, enough time for that to happen. Yeah. yeah. Like what's the, and, uh, the job's not going to start. It wasn't like you were going to start right now. You know, right. it, they, right. they, they already right. told us they're, you know, they start five to six weeks out. Okay, fine. Well, then it doesn't yeah. matter if I choose today or Sunday. Like, it's just yeah. not going to make any difference. So I, I always, it, it's like Jerry Maguire, you know, he's good in the living room, right? That yeah. was his pitch. Yeah. And I, I think I have that skill too, but I know people that are super successful that don't have this skill, yes. but they hired people that have that skill. Yes. And so that's like the guy who was quoting us and gave, lost a significant revenue uh, source. He shouldn't be the one doing it. He's obviously very uh, good at, what they did, but he need to hire somebody to come in that can just listen, read the room and tell you what a great solution they have for us. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's funny. As you were, as you were saying that, I, I was reminded one of the, one day when I was doing um, computer consulting with the computer nerds business, I mentioned 
uh, I walked into this house and it was easily like a five million dollar home, right? Uh, it, you know, like it's just one of okay. those things, you know. And this is probably fifteen years ago. And I, I walk in and I knock on the door and this guy opens the door and it's an older guy and he's like, you know, covered in like he's in overalls and painting. So it's similar to what you just described here. Yeah. And uh, I it was uh, a woman that had hired me and, you know, had me come out to the house. And, and so he answers the door and he's like, oh, let me get her. Uh, I'm the painter or whatever. And, and she comes to the door and uh, she's like, yeah, he's not the painter. He's the owner of the house. You yeah, know, <laughs> that's awesome, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, no, no. But like, yeah. there was an interesting approach that that he and I kind of figured the way. Like again, reading the room, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that while he is painting, he is not the hired painter. Like, I'm pretty sure he's the guy that you know. And it turns out he worked in the stock market for years, and he was a bond trader. Yeah, and, you know, he earned a bunch of money, which is great. Like, you know, but. It was an interesting approach to be like, oh, yeah, I'm just the fly on the wall. And it's like, yeah, you got to sell that better. But that's an interesting thing. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Classic. Feedback at businessbrain.show, folks. That's where you are going to send in your stories. We'd love to hear your anecdotes from this. And if we read them on the show, you will be entered to win a MacBook Air here in 2023. We'd love to hear from you. And we want to give you that MacBook Air So please do that. Headspace.com slash brain60, found.com slash brain. Keep leading that charmed life, and we'll see you next week.